a student and you're thinking about studying for this exam or perhaps you're a teacher and you're thinking about offering it to your students so I'm going to give you a, a little bit of information about astronomy GCSE I've been teaching it for about 15 years now so I do have a fair idea about what it's about first thing is I'm not affiliated to Pearson or Edexcel in any way I'm just a, a physics teacher at a college but I do enjoy teaching the course and I'm sure you would enjoy doing it or teaching it yourself it's a, a new specification the first exam was in June 2019 which at time of doing this was last year you can download the specification for yourself and have a, a closer look at the specification if you just google astronomy GCSE Edexcel and you'll find a, a download for the specification and some other stuff there's two papers paper one is naked eye astronomy paper two telescopic astronomy both of them are an hour and 45 minutes and there's also uh, coursework you have to do two coursework tasks as well which I'll talk about in a few minutes each paper is eight topics paper one is topics 1 to 8 paper 2 is topics 9 to 16 these are the topics I think of it as kind of working your way outwards we start with planet earth and then we do the solar system and then we kind of do uh, the galaxy and then we kind of do the universe so working your way outwards I think of it of course you don't have to teach them in this order but I usually teach them in this order it seems a, a logical way the coursework you do two tasks and for each task you choose what it from a list of ten task a is unaided unaided means without a telescope and B is an aided task which you will need a telescope so you either need to buy a telescope or borrow one or when you do this task work with a, a small group of people one of which has a telescope you can buy a telescope for about a hundred quid I mean if Christmas or your birthday is coming up ask for a telescope you can get a, a decent refracting telescope for about a hundred quid somewhere like telescopehouse.com or eBay get a second-hand one whatever but they're not that expensive and you do need one to do the the second piece of coursework these two coursework examples are ones that I have done in the past some of my students have done in the past uh, and they work quite well and they're reasonably easy to do maybe I'll do a, a video about them at some point soon okay for each one you basically produce a report uh, you plan what you're going to do there's a record of your actual observations you analyze them and you evaluate them your teacher will look at it and decide if it's okay and then they will tick a box which gets sent off to the exam board saying that you've completed the coursework is it a hard GCSE well I mean all GCSEs are hard it, it depends what kind of level you're hoping for if you're hoping for uh, level 8 and level 9 then you know these are the grade boundaries from 2019 71 percent 79 percent some of the questions on the paper are hard and I mean I've taught a level physics for 35 years and there are some questions on there which I find pretty tricky there are some questions which are hard some quite mathematical ones to get a more modest grade to get a pass grade 41 percent there are quite a few I would say easy straightforward questions on the papers and it's not impossible to pass if you're willing to work hard and do some learning and you're not absolutely terrible at maths then to get 41% is is doable very very doable is there a lot of maths in it have a look for yourself there is lots of bits and pieces of kind of GCSE maths in it yes I mean some of the harder questions things like the inverse square law and working out magnitudes it, it does get a little bit mathematical is there a good textbook to support me and the answer is I haven't found one 
This is one of the reasons that I'm doing lots of videos for my students and anybody else who wants to make use of them is that I haven't found a very good textbook. So I'm doing it to support my students and you're very welcome to look at my videos. Will I enjoy studying astronomy? Well, I hope so. Um, if you're not interested in astronomy, I don't think there's a great deal of point doing it. Why should you do it? Because it is interesting, it is enjoyable, it can be quite a fascinating subject. If you're thinking about doing A-level physics, then I imagine it would be something that you would really, really enjoy doing. Is there an A-level astronomy course? Uh, no, there isn't. If you do A-level physics, you will do some um, astronomy. You'll do stuff about gravitation. You'll do some cosmology, uh, bits and pieces on either AQA or OCR, A-level physics, especially on the AQA. There is a, an astronomy option on the AQA, but there isn't actually an A-level astronomy course. Can I take the exam as an external candidate, as in if you're not a student at a school? What I would say is that you will need to contact the exam board because there is a coursework element and you will have to do that through a school or a college. But uh, I do know that they, there are quite a few people do the exam as external candidates. So the answer is yes, but you'll have to make arrangements with, with Edexcel to do that. Can it be done in one year? Uh, Possibly. I teach it in two years. I teach it two hours a week over two years and that kind of fits in comfortably and we get it done. So two hours a week over two years I would say is perfect. Can it be done in one year? If you get your skates on, very possibly, but there is a lot to it. Uh, check out my videos. This is my my YouTube channel. I'm putting more and more videos up there all the time. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And all the best. Bye-bye.